Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Samsung 960 gig EVO NVMe SSD. Now this is an M.2 drive, one terabyte, uh, fairly expensive, but if you're looking for performance, the only place that you can really step up to is the Pro version, which really marginally beats out uh, this NVMe drive. Uh, it's more so about its read and write cycles, its longevity, the warranty length. So if you're trying to figure out whether or not you should be going with the EVO or the Pro, bear in mind the Pro is really about lifespan. That's why it carries a longer warranty. So again, this is one terabyte. Uh, and for those of you unfamiliar, the reason that I picked this up was that I found a pretty good deal on it. I paid somewhere around 350 maybe a little bit less. Um, and really wanted to start booting my OS on my new build and everything else on an NVMe drive. And again, the difference for me between the EVO and the Pro simply price was not in that equation because again, you're talking about a three versus a five year warranty with the Pro and nearly identical speeds. I won't say that the difference is purely synthetic, but they're so close on their read and write speeds that to me, the 960 was the more intelligent and economical way to go. So with that said, let me go ahead and get this thing out of the box. And it's really, there's not a, a whole lot to see here. You're just gonna be staring at a chipset, which is going in my build. I'm using an InWin 909 for those of you that are curious. Uh, and for those of you wondering why I'm doing a new build, it's because the system that I uh, had done with main gear uh, years ago on a co-op build um, did get destroyed by Hurricane Matthew along with a lot of other equipment so here we have it and again instead of a traditional SSD we have NVMe something that I couldn't have done on my previous system even had I wanted to because that previous system uh, was a micro ATX board, an EVGA X99, that did not support NVMe drives. So here I will have an opportunity uh, with my new uh, Strix Z370 board. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else in here besides the paperwork and the actual drive. And the performance on this puppy should scream. Uh, we're looking at basically around 2000 on the right and read side. So uh, of course, that's in a whole nother league than a traditional SSD. Of course, I will also have some traditional SSDs in there for extra storage, but this will be the drive I'll be leaning on uh, for uh, the OS and a lot of other important uh, editing programs. Basically, Adobe, Vegas, all of that stuff will be sitting on this 960 EVO. And of course, you can buy this at much more affordable rates if you go with lower capacity drives, the one terabyte. Uh, to me was the sweet spot in terms of what I needed performance and at least pricing for now because it wasn't that much more than what you would pay for a traditional SSD, at least the price I got it at. And I'm sharing it with all of you because I assume as time passes, prices will eventually soften on these NVMe SSDs. Just make sure that your motherboard actually supports them. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give one look at a piece of the brand new build that is coming together, which will eventually be on camera. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.